One of the most important aspects of the CRM functionality in SAP Business One is delivered through integration to Microsoft Outlook. For many organizations, they have a large number of field personnel who spend a lot of time on the road out face to face with customers or potentially operating out of remote offices. The Outlook integration with SAP Business One delivers those users the ability to take a complete picture of the customers that they work with with them whenever they're traveling or whether they're operating remotely. Let's have a look at how this works. What I'm going to do is I'll just toggle across into my copy of Microsoft Outlook. So you'll see within Outlook I have my traditional Outlook user interface. I have my mail, my calendar and my contacts. Let's go ahead and have a look at the main user interface of the Outlook integration. You'll notice once you have the Outlook integration for SAP Business One loaded, you're presented with an additional toolbar which gives you additional functionality to track information from Microsoft Outlook and synchronize that across to SAP Business One. The key to this is the contacts. Let's go ahead and we'll have a look at one of our contacts, in this case, Earthshaker Corporation. So you'll notice when I open up the Earthshaker record, I can see the details of Earthshaker, their uh, name, phone number, business address, and so on. By clicking on the SAP Business One toolbar on the associated contact function, you can see that it tells me which of the contacts within my SAP Business One database is this particular record associated. So this is the business partner code. You can see that it's assigned to Sophie Clogg, who's one of our salespeople, and you can see a few of the other details there relating to this record. So how does this work? Very, very simply, what I'm able to do is choose to either update the record uh, through Outlook or update the record through SAP Business One and then that information will be synchronized between the two. Let's say, for example, I've just gone out to Earthshaker and I found out that Earthshaker have changed their name and they are now called Earthshaker USA. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change their name and I'll change the company name here as well. And let's go ahead and just change this in Microsoft Outlook. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and save and close that record within Outlook. Next time I come into the office or I connect to my network, if I go ahead and I do my synchronization, you'll see that what happens within SAP Business One, it's going ahead and it is checking each of the records that have changed since I last did my synchronization. So here's my record for Earthshaker. You can see in SAP Business One, it's still saying they're Earthshaker Corporation. In Outlook, it's Earthshaker USA. Then it asks me which of the two systems do I want to win. So I'm going to choose Microsoft Outlook. I'll say Synchronize All. It's now going to go ahead and it's going to resolve those conflicts for me. And then if I toggle back across to SAP Business One, and I now look at my business partner record for Earthshaker, let's just go ahead and we'll do a look up you can now see I have that record as Earthshaker USA. So that's the first aspect of the integration between uh, Outlook and SAP Business One. Another area which many organizations find very, very helpful uh, is the ability to take a snapshot of information on the road. What do I mean by that? Let's go ahead and let's open up our Earthshaker record again. Let's say I'm about to head out and I'm going to go and visit Earthshaker. I want to take a little bit of a snapshot of the information available to me uh, from SAP Business One because when I'm out with Earthshaker I'll have my laptop but I won't have the ability to contact my SAP Business One system in my office. All I need to do is go ahead and choose synchronize this. You can see it, it's going ahead and it's creating a snapshot. We'll give that a couple of seconds to retrieve the necessary data. I've successfully created my snapshot of my business partner, which is Earthshaker USA. Now you'll see what I have uh, stored against the record now is an Excel spreadsheet. If I double click and open up my Excel spreadsheet, you'll now see I have a complete snapshot of all the information about that customer in an Excel format that I can take with me. So when I'm sitting out in front of the customer and I, they start asking me questions about their orders, or any particular invoices that are outstanding, 
or um, service calls, I can easily open up this attachment. For example, if I'm interested in seeing what service calls I have open for them, I can click on the service call a link and you can see it opens up a complete detailed drill down to all the information about those service calls which has been extracted out of SAP Business One and stored in this Excel spreadsheet which again is attached to my contact record. So there's a number of other areas in the integration between SAP Business One and Microsoft Outlook that are also helpful. One of the key areas that's also very, um, very user friendly uh, and many existing customers of SAP Business One tell us it's very, very effective is the ability to be able to create quotations from within Microsoft Outlook. So for example, when I'm out on site with my customer, I don't have access to my SAP Business One, but I've got my laptop with my copy of Outlook. I can go into my quotations folder and you can see I have some new functionality here the ability to create a new quotation, edit an existing quotation, or, or send a quotation that I've created. If I go ahead and say new quotation, let's just bring that screen up. You can see I now have the ability to retrieve all of the information from within SAP Business One. So I can go ahead and say I want to create a quotation for Earthshaker. I want to add some items to that particular quotation. So I want to add an IBM Info Print 1312. If I choose Get Item Price, it will retrieve the item price from my synchronized file. I can specify the tax details. So now I have my quotation, which is complete, and I can choose Add. And now you'll see I have an additional quotation. Next time I go into my office, or next time I connect to the office remotely, when I do a synchronize, it will go ahead and it will create that quotation in SAP Business One. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's do my data synchronization and I'll choose to synchronize. Again, it's presenting me with some information about what's going to happen between the two systems. So I'll choose to synchronize all. And as a result of that synchronization, now that quotation will be available for me within SAP Business One. So if I go ahead and toggle back to SAP Business One now, I look at my sales menu and I look at my sales quotations. If I go and look at the last quotation that was created, you can see there it is. There's the quotation I've just fulfilled, which is for Earthshaker USA, for Daniel Brown, for my item, which was the IBM Infoprint 1312. So that quotation that I created offline is now synchronized across to SAP Business One for me, and then that can go into my normal sales process, uh, along with all the other transactions that have been created during the day by various other people in the organization. So you can see the integration between SAP Business One and Microsoft Outlook is very, very powerful. I've just touched on a few of the aspects of this integration. There's many, many more things you can do, including uh, integration between uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, and SAP Business One. One of the things that you will notice is once we have uh, installed the Outlook integration, if I go ahead and I start Microsoft Word, Let's go and look at that. You'll now see with every Word document or within the Word user interface, I now have an SAP Business One menu option. And that now gives me the ability to take any Word document that I create and save it as an activity. For example, if I go ahead and let's say I'm just going to pick this particular document and I'll pick my SAP README document. So now I want to go ahead and take that document and save it as an activity. It accesses the SAP Business One database. It asks me which of my uh, customers or suppliers I want to link this to. I'm going to say Daniel Brown. I'm going to create this as a, let's see. Let's say I'll just go ahead and create this, for example, as some production instructions. I can pick a particular document to attach that to, or uh, I'll go back and I'll choose a sales quotation, and let's pick the sales quotation that I've just created in my previous example, and there it is, my Earthshaker USA quotation. Do I want to flag a follow-up activity? No, I'll just go ahead and I'll save that document. So you can now see that the SAP Business One document has been saved as an activity for me.